in this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between eutrophic and obligotrophic lakes. To start off with, I'm going to simply define what a nutrient is because it is present in lakes. A nutrient is a substance which is essential for growth. Some common nutrients are phosphorus, which is considered limiting, and nitrogen. In obligotrophic lakes, there are low nutrients, so low phosphorus and nitrogen, blue water, which would be clear water, so you're able to see deeper into the lake, low productivity, and dissolved oxygen throughout the water column. Obligotrophic lakes are usually considered more healthy and allow aquatic life to thrive more. An example of this type of lake is Trout Lake, which is in northern Wisconsin. Next, eutrophic lakes, which are pretty much the opposite of obligotrophic lakes, have an abundance of nutrients, so an abundance of phosphorus and nitrogen, which usually comes from over-fertilization. So when farmers fertilize their field, the excess nutrients run off into streams or rivers, which then feed the lake. They also have high productivity and areas of low dissolved oxygen. Some issues with eutrophic, eutrophic lakes are the formation of algae blooms, which cause a variety of issues, such as cutting off the oxygen supply for aquatic life because they form in such dense masses. Some examples of these types of lakes are Lake Mendota here in Madison and also Lake Erie. Lastly, I'm gonna talk about some ways to possibly solve the abundance of nutrients problem in eutrophic lakes. Some local governments have been trying to designate wetland areas because wetlands are very useful in soaking up the extra ex excess nutrients such as phosphorus before they would reach the lake. Also, they're working with general conservation of water and protect protecting the lakes from pollution through various routes such as trying to combat the overfertilization problem. That's all for this video. Um, thanks for listening and hope you learned a lot.